Taking bookings is easy with today's sponsor, Squarespace. Let's be frank, no matter the species, the life of a baby ape seems pretty awesome. Chimpanzees and bonobos are born after a gestation period of eight months and sharing a powerful bond with their mother will cling to her chest for the first six months. The baby is then carried on its mother's back until around two years of age, but will not become fully weaned until four or five. Independence occurs after seven to nine years, but chimpanzees won't reach sexual maturity until 13 for females and 15 for males. Upon reaching maturity, females will venture off to find another community preventing inbreeding, whereas males will stay with theirs for life. Chimps live for 40 to 50 years in the wild, and an adult female gives birth once every five years. The reproductive cycle of a gorilla is shorter, producing offspring every four years, and after a slightly long gestation period of eight and a half months. Like chimpanzees, gorilla offspring are helpless when born and cling to their mother's chests until around four months old. At this point, a young gorilla will ride on its mother's back until around two to three years of age. Independence is reached after just three to four years, but sexual maturity takes 10 for females and 15 for males. Gorillas will also live for 40 plus years in the wild, but with this species it is the males who leave to establish new troops. Some males will stay, however, and queue for dominance of the troop, which some take over from their father. Lifespan is a similar story for orangutans at 35 to 40 years, but their reproductive cycle is quite different to that of the African apes. At eight years, they have the longest interbirth interval of any land mammal, meaning females usually have no more than three babies during their lifetime. Gestation is around the same as a gorilla at eight and a half months, and like other great apes, their offspring, who have white patches on their face and bodies, will be carried everywhere by their mother for the first four months and will remain by her side until six to eight years of age. Sexual maturity depends on gender and species and can range anywhere from six to 11 years for Bornean females, all the way up to 15 to 24 years for Sumatran males. The life cycle of a gibbon is also quite different from other apes. Gibbons produce offspring every two to three years, normally bearing a single child after a short gestation period of around seven months. Depending on species, weaning is usually complete within 18 to 24 months, around half that of the great apes, but independence is still not reached until six to eight years of age when they leave their family unit to start their own. The lifespan of a gibbon is also shorter than that of the great apes at around 25 to 30 years. Gibbons are classed as lesser apes and are found in a separate family to the greater apes, Hylobatidae. It is by far the most diverse group of apes, with 20 of the 27 species being found in this family. Most of their population is found on mainland Southeast Asia, but like orangutans are present on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Their range is split geographically between their four genera, with the range of hylobates overlapping with that of the monotypic Symphalangus. Of the 20 species of gibbon, one has a conservation status of vulnerable, 14 are endangered, and a further five are critically endangered. Some of the species most at risk are the newly discovered Skywalker Hulot gibbon, with just 150 individuals, and the eastern black-crested gibbon, who number no more than 50. Like other apes, poaching and habitat destruction are both to blame for much of their population decline, but the latter is even more of an issue for gibbons and orangutans who spend the vast majority of their time in trees. Orangutans are the most distant of the great apes from humans, and although they are found in the same family as gorillas and chimpanzees, they are contained within their own subfamily, Ponginae, which contains a single genus, Pongo. Bornean and Sumatran orangutans are found on their respective islands, with a third species identified in 2017, the Tapanuli orangutan, being found to the south of the Sumatran population. All three of these species are critically endangered. The Bornean orangutan has the highest numbers, with a population of around 100,000, but this drops off significantly on the other side of the Javan Sea, with the Sumatran orangutan down to just 7,500 individuals, and the Tapanuli orangutan down below 800. Gorillas are the first of the apes that we'll discuss in the subfamily Homininae. There are two species found in separate locations on either side of Central Africa, divided by the Congo River and its tributaries. Each of these species is split further geographically by their respective subspecies. The Cross River Gorilla, the Western Lowland Gorilla, the Eastern Lowland Gorilla, and the Mountain Gorilla. 
Habitat destruction and the bushmeat trade also pose a threat to gorillas in addition to being hunted for game. Both species of gorilla are critically endangered. The most at threat is the eastern gorilla, whose combined numbers are estimated to be around 5,000, with just 1,000 mountain gorillas remaining. On the other side of the continent, there are estimated to be around 100,000 western gorillas, but the Cross River gorilla is the subspecies most at risk, with an estimated 2 to 300 individuals remaining. Finally, the genus Pan is found in the same tribe as humans and contains two species. The bonobo is found to the south of the river Congo in the heart of the DRC, and the common chimpanzee, which is located on the northern side of the river and geographically is also split further by its four subspecies, found as far west as Senegal and as far east as Tanzania. While the 150 to 250,000 chimpanzees found in the wild is significantly higher than the 10 to 50,000 bonobos, both of these species are classified as endangered, with threats coming from habitat loss and hunting for meat. Physical characteristics are one of the largest differences between the various species of ape. The smallest of these animals are gibbons, which thanks to their high number of species are also the most diverse in appearance. These apes have exceptionally long arms, sometimes up to 2.6 times the length of their bodies, that help them navigate their arboreal habitat with ease. The Siamang is contained in its own monotypic genus, and physically is quite different to other gibbons. At up to 26 pounds, it is the largest species and is also fairly easy to distinguish visually, with its thick black fur surrounding a nearly hairless light grey face and a large throat sac they use to produce loud vocalizations. Interestingly, their Latin name, Symphalangus syndactylus, refers to the fused second and third toes on their feet, similar to those of a koala. There are many examples of gibbons that exhibit sexual dichromatism, where males display a different colour to their female counterparts. The pileated gibbon is one such species and belongs to the hylobates genus, also referred to as the dwarf gibbons, whose members usually weigh between 9 to 18 pounds. Males are black with white eye circles, whereas females are a mixture of black and cream. This genus also contains the silvery gibbon, which exhibits a beautiful silvery grey pelage. Other species include the northern white-cheeked gibbon, who are also sexually dichromatic and are members of the Nomascus genus. Males are black with white fur around their cheeks, whereas females are buff with a black patch on the top of their heads. Finally, members of the Hulok genus are also quite unique, exhibiting a white brow across the forehead. Like gibbons, orangutans also have bodies built for the trees. Their enormous arm span can measure up to 7 feet long, which when combined with their incredibly flexible legs and opposable thumbs on all four extremities, allows them to move gracefully through the trees, or, theoretically, teach a private Pilates class, which would be incredibly easy to create and manage with today's sponsor, Squarespace. Appointment management is just one of the impressive array of features that are built into Squarespace's platform without the need to install plugins. Functionality includes displaying your availability, automating appointment reminders and follow-ups, and easily sending invoices and accepting payments with Stripe, Square or PayPal. One thing I have found with Squarespace is the back end is incredibly intuitive and beautifully designed. It takes next to no time to test any of these features. Other handy business tools include easy-to-use social media integration and a built-in autoresponder to manage your email campaigns. You can try appointment scheduling and their regular platform completely free for 14 days to see if it's a good fit for your business. If you'd like to do so, head to squarespace.com forward slash textbook travel and use the coupon code textbook travel to save 10% off your first website or domain purchase. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Orangutans display sexual dimorphism. Adult males are around twice the size of females and usually weigh around 200 pounds but can be found closer to 300. They measure around 4 to 5 feet in height, which is roughly the same as a chimpanzee but shorter than a gorilla. Males also develop large cheek pads as they age, which are thought to be associated with increased levels of testosterone and appeal to the opposite sex with females often mating with adult males who have the cheek pads over sub-adult males who have not yet developed them. Their bright orange fur is, oddly enough, thought to be for camouflage. In direct sunlight it is distinct and obvious, but in the shadows of the forest canopy their dark skin absorbs the light and makes orangutans difficult to see. 
Sumatran orangutans can be distinguished by the white hairs on their face and longer fur, including their beards, as well as exhibiting a more slender build. Tapanuli orangutans differ from other species by their dental structure and also the structure of their skull, including but not limited to a shallower face depth. Even bigger than orangutans, gorillas are the largest of the apes, with adult males usually topping out around 5.5 feet tall and close to 500 pounds, with the largest specimens recorded well over 6 feet. They are also sexually dimorphic. Females measure just under 5 feet in height, but are half the weight due to the stocky build of the adult males, who are referred to as silverbacks, a reference to the grey and silver hairs they develop on their backs as they age. Gorillas also have opposable digits on their hands and feet, allowing them to manipulate objects with all four extremities. Although their arms are proportionately shorter than those of orangutans and gibbons, they are still 15 to 20% longer than their legs. Eastern gorillas are slightly larger than their western counterparts and have darker, longer fur. Specifically, the western lowland gorilla is often cited as the smallest of the four subspecies, and the eastern lowland gorilla is the largest. Mountain gorillas also have the longest hair, which they use to keep warm at higher altitudes, and, like the Tapanuli orangutan, the Cross River gorilla exhibits noticeable differences in the skull and dental structure. Chimps and bonobos are the smallest of the great apes, but at 4 to 5 feet and no more than 130 pounds, are much larger than gibbons. Chimpanzees tend to be slightly larger than bonobos, who were referred to as pygmy chimps until they were found to be a separate species, and have a more stocky build with shorter legs but wider chests. While chimps and bonobos are sexually dimorphic, this is to a much lesser extent than the other great apes. The size difference between males and females is a ratio of roughly 1.3, which for the sake of comparison is still greater than humans who are closer to 1.15. Both chimps and bonobos have long black hair that covers their bodies, but one of the most interesting differences between species is the appearance of their young. Chimpanzees are born with white skin on their faces and ears, which darkens with age, whereas bonobos are born with this dark skin. As both species age, some of their hair also tends to turn grey, and the forehead can also become bald. In terms of ecology, bonobos are found only in lowland tropical forests, whereas the habitat of the chimpanzee extends into grasslands and woodland areas. Both species use arboreal and terrestrial locomotion to move around their territory. Each night they make a nest in the trees before rising early to find breakfast, which ideally is made up of nutritious fruits. Unlike some of the other apes, chimps will cover long distances on the ground, where they use a type of locomotion referred to as knuckle walking, bearing their weight on the knuckles of their hands, and are also able to move in an upright posture. The diet of both chimpanzees and bonobos is made up mostly of vegetation, such as fruits, leaves, roots, and seeds. However, both species are omnivores, and although a lot less frequently, will also consume invertebrates and small mammals such as dica, a small antelope. Chimpanzees eat more meat than bonobos and have been observed pinching chicks and eggs, as well as hunting pigs and even other primates such as colobus monkeys. Both species typically consume their food in trees and do so at two times during the day. Once in the morning, followed by a midday rest, and then a longer session of eating follows in the afternoon and evening. Tool usage is a particularly interesting trait that was first observed by Jane Goodall in the 1960s at Gombe Stream Game Reserve in Tanzania. These primates use sticks to fish termites out of their mounds and leaf sponges to soak up water. Gorillas are also found in the tropical forests of Central Africa, but the elevation at which they live varies by subspecies. The western lowland gorilla, who commands the largest range of any subspecies, lives at the lowest average altitude, mostly preferring lowland tropical forests, whereas the Cross River Gorilla lives in the mountainous border region between Cameroon and Nigeria. Likewise, on the other side of the Congo, the eastern lowland gorilla lives in lowland tropical forests, but can also be found at higher altitudes, and as you might expect, the mountain gorilla is found at the highest elevations up to 14,000 feet. The diet of a gorilla is more strictly vegetarian than that of a chimp or bonobo. They mostly gorge on leaves, stalks and fruit, although they will also feast on ants and termites as well as their larvae. The makeup of their diet depends on subspecies. For example, 
Fruit trees and termites are more common in lowland tropical forests and thus are consumed a lot more by western lowland gorillas than they are by mountain gorillas who eat a larger amount of leaves and stems and other similar vegetation. Like chimps and bonobos, they eat in two intervals per day and a large silverback can consume up to 60 pounds in one day. Although gorillas can and do climb trees, they are mostly terrestrial and like chimps will move around using knuckle walking. Females and young climb more than adult males whose weight is simply not supported by the canopy. As such, gorillas will sleep in nests in the trees or on the ground on a bed of foliage. Moving to Asia, the ecological preferences of the orangutan are much simpler than that of the gorilla. All three species live in the lush tropical forests of Borneo and Sumatra and none of them venture above 4,600 feet. Orangutans spend the vast majority of their time in trees where they build nests to sleep and move about with ease thanks to their long arms and hook-like hands. They can often be seen high up in the forest canopy which is quite incredible for such a large ape. On the occasion they do spend time on the forest floor, they do so on all fours but usually do not use knuckle walking like gorillas or chimps. Like the western lowland gorilla, fruit makes up a large portion of their diet at around 50% which is supplemented with other types of vegetation in addition to small amounts of insects such as ants and termites. Very occasionally, orangutans have been observed eating meat when fruit is scarce, specifically their fellow primates, slow lorises. Like chimps and gorillas, orangutans have also been observed using sticks as tools to extract insects from trees, as well as using leaves as umbrellas when it rains. Gibbons are also thought of as arboreal. In fact, hylobates, one of the four genera, can be translated to either forest walker or dweller in the trees. They are perhaps the most efficient ape in the trees and use their long arms and flexible shoulder joints to brachiate through the forest. On the ground, gibbons walk in a fully upright posture and will also use their long arms to balance when walking along a branch. All species are found in various types of tropical forests However, the altitude at which they are found varies by species. For example, the northern white-cheeked gibbon is found at low altitudes of between 1 to 2,000 feet, whereas the black-crested gibbon is found at higher elevations between 1,800 and 9,000 feet. Unlike great apes, gibbons choose to sleep on open branches and rarely sleep in the same place more than once to reduce predation by animals such as pythons or birds of prey. They are also thought of as frugivorous, with ripe fruit often making up a large portion of their diet, which they will supplement with leaves and other vegetation, as well as insects and less frequently bird eggs. Of the fruits available, figs are a particularly popular food source. Siamangs eat a higher proportion of leaves than any other gibbon, making up 40 to 50% of their diet. While the ecology and diet of apes is very similar, there are many behavioral differences that make each of these animals quite unique. Chimps and bonobos have by far the largest group structure and territory. They live in communities of between 30 to 100, but spend most of their time split into smaller groups known as parties with whom they forage for food. Chimpanzee communities are led by a dominant male and a coalition of allied males who are notoriously violent and use aggression to assert their dominance. Their territory ranges from 5 square kilometers in the forest to 500 square kilometers on the savannah. Bonobo communities, on the other hand, are female-dominated and are thought of as more peaceful societies with female members controlling the aggression of males, often with intercourse. The group size of bonobos is roughly the same, but the territory is limited to just under 30 square kilometers as they are found only in tropical forest. Intergroup relationships are quite different between chimps and bonobos. Chimpanzees are hostile and aggressive while defending their territory, while bonobos have been observed sharing food with other communities, as well as spending time with other groups. Grooming is an important part of life in the pan genus and is used to bond with other members. Both species use a collection of gestures and facial expressions to communicate face to face and have a repertoire of vocalizations to do so over both long and short distances. A group of gorillas is known as a troop and are smaller than chimpanzee communities at between 6 to 30 individuals. Troops consist of a dominant silverback male and several adult females with their offspring. Eastern gorilla troops are usually larger than that of the western species and can accommodate multiple males who are closely related. Troops of mountain gorillas in particular have been known to support up to eight silverbacks. 
Their territory is also smaller than that of a chimpanzee community at between 2 to 40 square kilometers. Grooming plays less of a role in gorilla societies than it does in that of chimps or bonobos. Nevertheless, it does take place and is also used to strengthen bonds between individuals and usually occurs between males and females or females with their young. Gorillas are often portrayed as aggressive creatures in popular culture, but they are reserved by nature and silverbacks will only usually display aggression in the form of roaring and chest beating when defending other troop members or maintaining dominance within the troop. This social group behavior is not mirrored by Asian apes. Orangutans are mostly thought of as solitary, especially adult males who roam the forest on their own and will usually only spend time with a mating female. Females are more social than males, traveling with their offspring and coming together to feed with other adults in their range when there is an abundance of fruit. The territory of a male orangutan is around the same as a gorilla troop at up to 40 square kilometers, which will overlap with those of multiple females whose ranges are smaller at around 9 square kilometers. Like gorillas, orangutans are thought of as placid and confrontation usually only occurs between adult males competing for females or territory. Orangutans use both verbal and non-verbal communication. The latter is used more often for long distance signaling, in particular a long call is used by males both to signal their presence to other males and also to attract females. A wide range of gestures are commonly used face to face, however as the most solitary of the great apes the extent to which these have been studied in the wild is much less. Although gibbons are the least closely related apes to humans, they have the most similar social structure found in family groups known as nuclear families made up of a monogamous mating pair and their immature offspring. Territory size is quite small, usually between 0.1 to 0.5 square kilometers. The Hainan black crested gibbon has the largest territory size of any gibbon species at between 2 to 5 square kilometers. Although gibbons are the least studied of the ape species, they have one of the most interesting and heartwarming forms of communication. The male and female will sing a duet known as a great call used to mark their territory, which is often joined by their young and sounds like this. Thank you so much for watching. Click here if you'd like to learn more about the evolution of primates and other species and here to learn about biogeographical realms.